Adventure Adventure are an inspiring organisation. Um, right from the very outset they were incredibly supportive, they weren't prescriptive about how we would do what, what it was that we wanted to do and they were happy for us to, to develop our own programme. Dementia Adventure has a simple mission to support people with dementia to get outdoors, to get into nature, to continue to enjoy the pastimes and the activities that they love and to help them retain a sense of adventure in their lives. We've found that people are at risk of not getting access to and easy access to the outdoor environments that most of us take for granted and so we adopt a solutions focused approach primarily delivered through training and support programs that enable families, that enable professional carers and, and staff and volunteers and all sorts of organisations to think about how they might enable people with dementia to get outdoors confidently and happily. Well we uh, bid for some money from Age UK nationally to work with Dementia Adventure. Uh, we, did a, we set up a project in Mason, came down, did a meeting, worked with our Dementia Services Manager and came together with this walk, worked with the Borough Council, put it all together and today we've had the experience of walking around it and what a fantastic project. We're always looking at the individual and risk is really relative to an individual. Um, we, you know, we might be involved with taking someone whitewater rafting as we did with two ladies up in Scotland because that was on their bucket list. But it might be that it's a walk in the park, it might be something in their garden, it's, it's really individual to that, that, that person. Ever since we started Dementia Adventure we've always strongly focused on research, grounded our work in the evidence that is uh, in existence for people with dementia benefiting from the outdoor activity. And we've gone on to publish and, and work with organisations like Natural England and others to uh, publish our own research and can contribute to research papers and chapters on books that all build the evidence base that underpins everything that we do. Exercise is good to um, help slow down cognitive decay. Every, t every few metres there's somewhere to sit, listen to, and there's something to read or listen to birds or listen to other sounds of the park. While we're walking around we saw people with their dogs, we saw people yeah, pushing their kids around. People can choose the ability that they want. I think it's going to be really beneficial. People living with um, dementia often have very narrow lives. Um, risk is something that's completely taken out of the picture. And carers are often looking at the safety of the person with dementia, but actually not looking at the adventures um, and the exciting things that we can do in life. And that's really what we are advocating um, a lot with our training and, and, and as well with our holidays. This particular lady, just one day, she, she after a bath, she suddenly said, I want to go outside now. And so for our staff, they it, it's about being in the moment with that person. So it's about seizing that moment and saying, right, okay, yeah, let's go then. So they wrapped her up in a coat and a headscarf and all the rest of it and, and went for it. And she hadn't been outside for a very long time. And my goodness me, the, uh, the happiness on that lady's face was just beautiful. And she only went outside for a short period of time, but uh, that sort of set a precedent really and now she's doing that regularly and for somebody who hadn't stepped over the threshold um, of that care home for a very long time that that was a massive thing for her to do. 